everybody, this is John Lamazny, and the reason I'm recording this video is as a supplement to um, other videos that I've been putting up about nutrition. Um, I'm almost at my goal weight of 200 pounds, and uh, I'm about six foot two, and I'm 39 years old, and while BMI would tell me that um, 200 pounds is overweight, I tend to disagree. I feel like I'm almost at the right size for my frame. I happen to be a relatively large frame. So anyway, <laughs> the reason I'm making this video is because uh, people ask me very often now, they, they saw me before, and if you've seen my before and after pictures, you can tell that I was pretty large. Um, almost 300 pounds, and in the past I've been over 300 pounds. I think at my heaviest I was about 330. Uh, they asked me how I lost the weight because it seems to be such a mystery for so many people. And the answer is very easy, and I'm going to explain in this video how to lose weight. And um, I have lost 80 pounds or thereabouts in the last six months. And if you have six months of your life to spare um, to making yourself fit and you're somewhere around 80 to 100 pounds, I'm going to explain to you how you can lose the weight. I'm going to explain to you how I did it specifically and how you can do it. So there are two things that you need, um, three things. You need a scale. You need to be able to know how much you weigh. And the reason that that's important is not to discourage you or not to make you upset, but so that you know. You have to know what your weight is in order to know that what you're looking at in the mirror uh, is right or wrong. Because when you look in the mirror, the mirror says you're ugly or you're mean or you need to be a better person or whatever in addition to how you look. And so uh, by looking at a scale instead of the mirror, you have some sense of um, not only uh, whether or not you're on the right track, but whether or not you're, you are the right weight. And if you know a number that you're going for, you have a goal weight, minus 200, and you check the scale every day, and every day the number goes up or down, but generally speaking it goes down over time because you're doing the right other two things that I'm going to talk about, then uh, you're able to track things in a factual, sensible way, not based on the image in the mirror. Forget about the image in the mirror. If you can, don't look at a mirror. Um, uh, you should be looking at the scale. And it should be a good scale. I, I bought one from Fitbit, the same company that makes my uh, tracker, which is the other thing that I'm going to talk about. And you can buy a scale from anywhere. You can spend as much money as you want on it. The Fitbit, the Fitbit RES scale, the reason I like it is because it uh, wirelessly connects with my home network and it automatically updates my charts, which then uh, follow through to other sites and services. And for me, that's really important because I want to be able to look at those charts and see my progress, right? I know. So get a good scale. That's number one. Um, if you want a suggestion, go get the Fitbit Aria from Fitbit.com. It's about 100 bucks, uh, but it tracks not only your weight, but it also tracks your uh, body fat content. And all you have to do is not wear socks while you're on it. And it I would suggest you do that every day. I'd suggest you do it every day at the same time because your weight can fluctuate. Mine fluctuates by five pounds every day. If I weigh myself at 12 midnight, it will be five pounds up. If I weigh myself at 8.30 in the morning, it will be five pounds down. So um, that's number one. Number two, exercise to some degree. It does not have to be running. It does not have to be working out. I lost all my weight simply by walking, and I walk uh, 10,000 steps a day, sometimes less, sometimes more, very often almost exactly 10,000 steps. So far today, I have walked 8,678 miles uh, uh, steps, and the reason I know that is because I have a really good tracker. You can go and get a pedometer for a dollar, or you can go to McDonald's sometimes, and they will throw a pedometer in your bag because you you bought some. 
Those are crap. <laughs> Go and get a good pedometer. In my opinion, you should get a pedometer that has sensors in it that don't just rely on uh, motion, but also things like height, etc. And there are many. Um, you can go further and you can uh, get a strap that you wear around your chest that measures your heart rate and measures calories and things. This Fitbit tracker, uh, again around $100, they have a brand new one that's different than this model but very similar. Uh, this is the, the Fitbit, uh, Fitbit tracker uh, Ultra. They have a new one called the One, they have another one called the Zip, and they have older ones. If you were going to get a brand new one, I would suggest that you go get the One tracker because it has some advantages over this, such as syncing with your phone. Um, the way this works is I walk in my house. Uh, I have a thing here on the um, desk that has wireless connectivity. And my Fitbit tracker talks to it, tells the website how many steps I've walked so far today and automatically updates my charts. Again, and charts are, are fabulous because it gives me a way to track over time how I'm doing. This also tracks sleep. It tracks numbers of flights of stairs. In other words, height as I walk through the day. And it gives me suggestions that I'm supposed to meet. So 10,000 steps, 10 flights of stairs, five miles. And I can look at my charts right now and see where I am. I can also, uh, click on this button and it tells me how many steps I have, how many miles I've gone, how many flights of stairs I've done, what time it is. Exercise is not essential, but it allows you to eat uh, the calories that you're supposed to eat and not have to worry about whether or not you have eaten too many calories. Uh, this makes up for the extra 100 calories or something that I might eat in a cookie or something like that. And so if I do my 10,000 steps, if I do my five miles in a day and I walk relatively briskly, I ensure that I am burning enough calories to lose weight while getting enough calories to uh, not get sick. So number two, exercise. Number one, remember was get a scale. Know how much you weigh, know whether or not you're going in the right direction. Number two is exercise. Know how much you are exercising, how many calories you're burning. And it doesn't have to be something like this, but it should be some sort of standardized exercise with uh, tracking. You should be able to tell how much you're exercising. You shouldn't have to guess. You shouldn't have to look at a clock. You should, there are enough automated ways to do this that um, you shouldn't do it some other way. You should uh, find a way to do it automatically. For me, I'm kind of lazy. Uh, it helps to have it be um, automated, to walk in the door and have it automatically update my website. The service is free. The website is free. This item is $100 or just about. The scale is $100, but the service that matches it is free. And because Fitbit does both weight and exercise, um, I'm able to do all that in one site. Number three, the most important thing, most important way to lose weight is to track your calories. So what does that require? It requires a way for you to know what the calories are in what you're eating. If you eat a peanut, it's six calories. If you eat a tomato, it's about 25 calories. If it's a larger tomato, it's 30 calories. If it's a smaller tomato, it's 15 calories. You can weigh a tomato and find out exactly how many calories it will be, give or take, depending on things like how much rain there was that season or how much sugar is in the tomato or whatever. I don't care about the precise calories, but I care about the general area of calories. I want the calories to be close, if not exact. So I really love things that have nutritional facts on the back. I really love going to restaurants where they have calories on the menu. I really love when there's not some creative fool behind the counter making my sandwich, putting on 18 pieces of meat instead of the six that's required for those calories. So I tend to go to places where it's somewhat uh, stylized to always be the same. Um, the more artistic a chef you get, the less likely you are to have any real sense of what the calories are. 
when you go to your favorite pizza place and you get a slice of pizza, that same shape, that same size, that same weight could vary wildly in calories. And so uh, I always prefer, although I don't, I, I don't always do it, I always prefer to go someplace like Papa John's, not because the pizza is better, but because the pizza is pretty good and the calories are uh, fairly accurate and they are published. So I always know that if I get a large slice of Papa John's cheese pizza that I am going to be somewhere around whatever the number of calories it is for that in the database. So the next question is, um, where is that database? You could use Fitbit.com. And uh, if you have invested, as I have, in the ARIA scale and the Fitbit tracker, you might just want to use Fitbit in order to search for your food, add it to your dialogue, uh, to your log, and have that count against your calories because it's all about input and output. Exercise is output. Food is input. So by tracking the calories that you are eating, by tracking the amount of exercise that you are doing to burn those calories, and by seeing how that changes your weight every day, you can lose weight. You can lose weight fairly quickly. For a while there, I was losing a pound a day, which some people would say was really dangerous, but I was so overweight, I was so obese, that it was easy to lose a pound a day. There are other things that I could tell you to do. Make sure you drink water every day. Eight cups, 64 ounces. Um, I actually keep a 64 ounce jug and I just fill it up with water and make sure I drink that by the end of the day and then I don't have to worry about it. Um, I personally use a secondary food tracker, calorie counter. And that is my fitness pal. And part of the reason I do that is because I became friends with a lot of people on that service. And they support me and I support them, and it's a great network for that. It also has a fabulous food database, and it works with Fitbit products. So by telling it that I have an account on Fitbit, it talks to Fitbit and passes information back and forth between those two websites. If you want to simplify, just use Fitbit for everything. or Find some other way. Get a scale that does not connect to the Internet. Get a uh, tracker, some way of tracking your exercise that um, tells you that you are exercising a certain amount every day or burning a certain number of calories every day. And then find some way to track your calories. It does not matter how you do these things, uh, really. It matters that you do them. So number one, get a scale. Number two, exercise. Find some way to track your exercise. Number three, eat well and find some way to track your calories. As I said, there are other things that you can do like drinking water and eating better foods rather than worse foods because it's going to do good things for you in the long run, making sure you have whole grains and raw vegetables and um, learning how to cook is a really good way to improve your nutrition and your nutritional outlook. Um, and if you go to diarrhoeacalories.wordpress.com, you'll see a lot more information about how, what my experience was with losing weight and some more things that you can do. But those three things will get you pretty far. Know what you weigh and look at it every day. Exercise and know how much you're exercising. And uh, eat good calories and track those calories. And... Uh, both Fitbit and MyFitnessPal give you estimates according to your height and weight and your goal for how many calories you should be eating. That's part of the reason why it's important to consider using websites like this, is they give you a whole bunch of other information about the quality of the calories that you're eating as well as the quantity of the calories that you're eating. I hope this video uh, helps you to get started with losing weight. I have greatly benefited from the process and I would highly recommend it to anybody. If you have any questions, I'm always lamazny at gmail.com and um, I'm in the Princeton area of New Jersey and I would be happy to meet with you if you ever want to sit down and talk about what it is that your process is now that has maybe gotten you to a place that you don't like with your body. I want to help you to get to a place that you enjoy life more because you feel good. Really, really do.
Thanks so much. Have a good one.